everybody believes that is part of what it means to be human. We may not know that we believe things until someone actually points out or draws our attention to the fact that our beliefs are faulty. Belief, therefore, is like the air that we breathe. We are not aware of it, but it's there all the time, and we can't live without our beliefs, just as we can't live without air. To say that it does not matter, therefore, what one believes is to trivialize a fairly serious question, and it can be, actually be quite arrogant. In a sense, we all wear our beliefs on our sleeves. Because how we live our lives actually affects people and they can see the outcome of our beliefs. Our actions, our beliefs, our attitudes betray what we truly believe. Therefore, we may think that actually our beliefs are very private and unknown to other people, but actually people read them as they would read a book. What we believe therefore matters to our families, to our friends, and to our workmates. Our beliefs therefore affect all the people around us. Sometimes they affect people even when we are not there. I'll give you an example. Bad parenting, for example, will affect children and it may affect their own children after them. And at a national level, defective political beliefs are responsible for a great deal of human suffering around the world. So what we believe actually matters. The second reason is that not all beliefs about God are actually valid or right. For example, you may have heard it said that it doesn't really matter what you believe, whether you believe in reincarnation or you believe in the resurrection, it doesn't really matter. They are all equal. But they can't be. Because if you take the example of resurrection, the belief is that God raises Job Bloggs after he has died and raises him back to life as Job Bloggs, to face God as Job Bloggs. On the other hand, with reincarnation, when Job Blog dies, he is reincarnated in any number of human or animal forms. So the two are not the same. The third reason is that what we believe has eternal consequences. If, as I believe, that Jesus Christ is the Lord of the world, God of the universe, then when he returns, the things that I believed about him while I lived on this earth will have consequences when I stand before him. What, therefore, human beings believe about God will affect their eternity. Faulty ideas about God will have eternal consequences.